All right, everyone. Welcome to part two of the second unknown cuxa that I have on this channel. And after part one, I did a little bit more work here on the handle a little bit. It's kind of gave it a uh, little shape here. I'll keep playing with that maybe. But overall, it feels good in the hand, which is cool. I knocked the corners off, I just kind of sawed them, and I'm going to start using the knife and kind of getting this down down a little bit, and we'll kind of play around with, uh, with this, and we'll see what we can do. I may have to make this into a three-part video, unfortunately, um, and probably tomorrow... I will um, I'm gonna work with some different wood. I'm gonna start using for these cuts as you know I don't mind with with this green wood doing you know doing a spoon. You know those aren't really too bad. Um, but when it comes to making like this, you know this is essentially a bowl with a handle. And there's a lot of work involved with this, and you know I'm really not doing myself any favors by, um, you know, carving the way I carve with this seasoned wood. It just doesn't make any sense, obviously. So I'm going to start using some of the greener wood that I have, uh, which is American sycamore and two other types of unknown wood. So. You know, it's a little easier on the fingers and everything to, uh, you know, work with that stuff. So, I really don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of playing around, trying to get the shape here. And these things take a lot of time. And cuxas are fairly new to me um, in that I haven't done too many of them. So some of the technique I have on like where to hold my hands and different things like that, um, you know, I'm still kind of learning and seeing what's comfortable for me, what's safe. So again, as I move along with, you know, making many more of these, I'll, you know, get a little more comfortable as far as technique I guess so so I'm just kind of this is a really long process so I'm not going to bore you guys with this and with my crappy camera work I just wanted to kind of show the progress of where I am and what I'm doing um, I'll come back when there's a little bit more done so you can see the progress and uh, we'll be right back all right guys I'm back so got a little bit more done I'm going to continue to chip away here I wanted to kind of add, I'm not going to be able to do it, but I wanted to add, uh, I may have mentioned this on one of the other Cuxa videos, but like a, a fin or a spine or whatever you want to call it, like where it comes kind of to a point, not able to do it, um, I have to kind of hone my technique, but I did draw in pencil just a circle and I'm going to try to make that like a, a base for this, even though it's sitting fairly straight as it is right now, but I'm just going to try something different and I'll just start doing that or continue doing it. Hopefully you guys can see enough of the work here, hopefully. <clears throat> it's a little thick on the side I'm working on right now, so I've had to work a lot to chip away there. You know, using my thumb a little bit. Again, this is not ideal wood to use. There's a guy that I subscribe to. His name is Woodcraft Hamster. I think he lives over in England or United Kingdom. And he had mentioned to take what's available. 
as far as wood. Um, especially if you're finding it or if you're relying on people to give it to you for free. You know, you just kind of have to take what's available and just kind of experiment with different types of wood. At least so you get the experience of knowing how it carves and, you know, how it finishes, you know, if you choose a sand or just using knife cuts to finish it, you know. So I'm just continuing to look at this and kind of go around here. It's actually, I've actually made a pretty good progress in a short amount of time. I always have trouble with this front part, it's a little annoying, but... no secret to it, you're just kind of going around, removing the excess and looking at it as you go along. I am going to leave the tool marks on the outside, just like the other one I did. Kind of gives it a, a nice look. But this thing is going to look nice. Um, I did make my very first cuxa out of this wood as well. <clears throat> so I know it's, it doesn't leak. I know that if you use it. <laughs> so guys, I'm just going to continue doing this all the way around here. So I knock this out, hopefully you saw that work that I was doing. Not much different than the first couple minutes that I started this video, so. <laughs> um, so let me just continue doing this and I'll come back when there's more done. Keep you guys updated, be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and where is my flash? Oh, man, what happened? What is going on here? Well, I'll try to show this the best I can. Man, where is my light? Wow, what happened to my flash? What is going on here? Uh, somehow I lost my light. Okay, well, that's awesome. Another crappy video. <laughs> well... Oh man, sorry. So I finished pretty much carving out everything. Um, so I'll make this really quick because you can't really see anything. I'm going to sand the inside, this uh, rim, top of the handle, and the back of the handle. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough time. I may have to break this into a third video, unfortunately. So i to show you guys what we got going on. You'll see better, when this is finished, you'll see a better, you know, some better images of it. So, just bear with me, and I'll be right back in a little bit with this finished product. All right, be right back, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. So, I had to switch the camera around here. So, here is the finished product, and this thing is really nice. Um, Put a fresh coat of oil on here for you so you can see the inside. This is finished with olive oil and vegetable oil. I thought that was a crack, but I think that's just the grain right here, this part. This is underneath. I added a little, I don't know what this is called, but just to you know add some detail and just to do something different. It's kind of cool. There's the side profile. It feels really good in the hand, either hand, left or right. It's a nice size, pretty deep. This is a nice piece here. There's the back. 
Very, very, very nice. So appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned because we have this piece right here. This is American Sycamore. We're going to start making some bowls out of that and some nice cuxas. That's a fairly, that's a really green piece of wood. So appreciate you guys watching. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.